Well, I've downloaded and installed the application called MKS Cloud on the phone. And I'll put some links about that down here. The bottom link has more information about it, but some of those settings on that page don't apply, so far as I can tell. So it's just like use that as a guide, but the top link is to the application which you can download to the phone and then install it. Um, Android, that's what I'm trying to think of. So far as I know it's only on Android. This paper is just to hide the URL that you need to have to get the URL off the printer. I'll put some information about that here. So just go into sort of these settings and it should have the URL on your printer. The uh, port address well sort of thing. So right I'm going to click on that and see it opens up. Loading. And it looks like you can put STL files up here if you want. Such like. I haven't used this site much so I don't know. I just use it for using the printer. Now what I do is go down here to equipment. Click on equipment, bottom left hand corner. Then it's got cloud printer local printer and camera. I don't have a camera connected. I hope I'm going to try a camera in a few days time when I get a specialised plug thing for it. Um, I don't know if that's going to work or not. But I'll just select local printer and I've set up a name for it. Dad's FL Sun QQS Click on that. It is printing now. You might hear it in the background printing. And it takes a little bit to load in some um, values on here. So now you see it's got the nozzle temperature. And it's got the bed temperature and it should also be showing the fan turning. Oh well, am I at the layer height? I think it should also have the layer heights here, but it's not showing them. You've got some options, so you can stop the printing, pause, adjustment, let's go on adjustment. So it can adjust the nozzle temperature. This is all remotely on my phone, as long as you have Wi-Fi connection. Bed temperature, those are probably two main ones. I don't know why it's got, it looks like a level, what level it's at and le what level you want it to be. So I don't know if you can jump levels. See, fan is on there. I'm going to click OK, but it's not showing the fan turning. Now, when I was on this the other day, it was turning. And when I tried it the other day, when I came on here, it was just loading, loading, loading all the time. Nothing was happening. Um, and I reinstalled the firmware, exactly the same firmware, and then it started working. So you could try that if it's not working. It's also got this bar graph giving you an idea of the position in the print, so to speak, 11%. And you can print from here. Uh, there is a file setting. I don't know if I can do that at the moment because I am printing already. You can print from the start off of the SD card and it will show up the values like I've shown you. And you can print from the phone. The phone will register the SD card even though it's in the printer and show the files and then you can select file and print. Oh, it's got the file name there, 70 my front yes i'm printing at 70 percent speed i'll show you on the well i'll show you the printer so we have to see an 11 percent okay so this is the display on the fl sun it's gone up to 12 percent 
see that the fan is turning there, 255. Now the other day on the phone it was showing the fan turning. There's no layer height displayed on this display. Well, it gives you, let me put this torch on because it's just not enough light. Sorry about this, but I can't be bothered to put my big light on. Um, you see that it is printing there. As I say, you can select files on the phone to print. Well, you can't do, I don't think you can do that while it is printing. You have to wait until it's finished printing. But make sure that you haven't got the attachment connected. And make sure that there's no prints on the bed. As I say, I'm going to try and get the a camera working on here. It is a bit awkward because I've got a, one of those uh, like squarish USB ports on. I'm not sure what the n number or name of that port is, but it's one of the square ones. So you can't just plug a normal USB straight into there, standard USB. I have to have a plug attachment for it. Right, that seems to be going reasonably well. I'll just show you the phone again. So there's the phone again, 12% as it shows you on the display, it's pretty much as it shows you on the display, it doesn't show you the levels there, I don't know why that fan isn't showing it turning, and when I was using this the other day, that fan was definitely turning. Oh, it does have a, I'll just show you that again, because if you look at your top right up there, there's a camera symbol. Well, I, d I don't have a camera, well, only on the phone. It's still open. I'm a bit wary about doing that. Manage phone calls, allow. Access successful, it said at the bottom. But I don't have a camera connected to the printer at the moment. I hope to have one in a few days. So that's just a quick look at this MKS. Cloud. I'll say I'll put some links on the video down here and in the description where you can get the application Android. So as I know, it is only Android. Sorry, anybody with apples or anything else. Right, I'll leave it at that so you can have an idea of how far the print is going. At least I think this area up here is for the camera where I've got this sticker on to hide the website address because you can also go on the internet on your computer and access that website address and do various things. There's very little security so far as I know. Don't quote me on that. So it's a bit dodgy if I put that website address with HTTP or HTTP colon slash slash in front of it and it logs on to the internet. So it's got E numbers, oh that's extruder I think, hotbed, half, yeah, preheat, and various settings here that I think you can do, camera not set, well I'm not going to show that, it says set land printer there, right just a quick look at the, that application, So it's MKS Cloud. Well, I put HTTP and the like port address in the address bar, and I get this page up. 
Now I don't know what this does and I don't really do much with it because I am printing out at the moment and I might spoil the print halfway through, it's quite a long print about three, four, five hours or something, maybe even six even though it is on fast speed um, but obviously there's some choices here I don't know ah so I can select files Web view, choose files, yeah that allows me to select files. The firmware if you want to update the firmware presumably. And this is a Wi-Fi connection, STA, AP, I presume that's some sort of security level. Now so far as I know there's not very much security with this so that's why I'm hiding out this URL up at the top. So we've got Wi-Fi key, presumably that's your normal router and configure and reboot. But I don't really touch anything because as I've seen, I am printing out at the moment. 